Hi, it's Donna from the Ingalls Memorial Library, and welcome back to Behind the Book Book Talks, the weekly series where I talk to you about a book that I've just finished reading that I think that you may enjoy reading for yourself. And this week's book is The Giver of Stars by Jojo Moyes. Now, Jojo Moyes was, um, has written a series of books that started with Me Before You, um, and I read this. It was It's a romance, and I typically don't read romances, I've told you before, but I really enjoyed it. It was about a woman who was taking care of a quadriplegic man and the relationship that they formed. It was a little syrupy, kind of a light read, kind of a sad read, but I enjoyed it. Um, and a lot of people had said, oh, you should really read this book. So I didn't hate the first book, and I picked this one up. Now, The Giver of Stars is about the pack horse librarians back in the 1930s. Um, that were in Appalachia. And every time I read a book about Appalachia, I want to read more about Appalachia because it just fascinates me that it's part of this country. Um, and so I've read some some other books about Appalachia, set in Appalachia, that I think that you may enjoy. One of my all-time favorite is David Baldacci's Wish You Well. Um, and then there is The Hillbilly Allergy, which is a nonfiction um, story about an Appalachian family. And it's a memoir of the family and a culture in crisis. It's very enjoyable. Um, and then because this is about the Pack Horse Librarians, Sheila had told me about this book that she found after she read The Giver of Stars. And this is Down Cut Shin Creek. It's a juvenile nonfiction about the Pack Horse Librarians. And Sheila and I have both decided that if things continue in the way that they're going, and we ha have to make further changes in the way that we do business, Pack Horse Librarians may be the way to go, and we're both up for it. So so anyways, The Giver of Stars. This tells the story of Alice, um, Alice Wright, who is from England, and she married um, Bennett Cleves, Van Cleves, who is an American. Um, Bennett's dad runs one of the coal mines in this town that, that they're living in. Um, it's not a very happy marriage. Also in the town is Marjorie, who is part of a family that's been in a lifelong feud, kind of like the, the Hatfields and the McCoys. Um, her family has been feuding with the McCullough family, and her family is not really well known. They don't have a very high reputation in town. So the book starts at the beginning. Marjorie's out on a pack horse. She's confronted by an alcohol-addled man of the McCullough family. There's a confrontation. You don't know what happened. Um, and then it goes back in time to when the pack horse library was started. So there's Alice and Marjorie, and there's um, Izzy, who has a physical disability, um, and then there's Kathleen Brady, and then Sophia, who is um, a black woman whose brother was seriously injured in the mines. Um, and it kind of tells the story of, of how the town reacted to this library. Um, Appalachia is a very different kind of a culture in this country. And there was a lot of pushback. Um, Alice ends up walking away from her marriage for a point, And her father-in-law is really just totally not happy with that whole situation. So he tries to undermine the, the library. Um, I'm not going to get into a lot of the details. This book was so amazing. And I totally can't, in my mind, reconcile that they were written by the same author. Which I think is a compliment to any author. Because just totally different kinds of stories. Um, we have another book that's also about the um, Pack Horse Librarians. It was called The Book Woman of Troublesome Creek, um, which is out. Um, this one is now back in and in quarantine. So if you're looking for a really great story, it's just an amazing story. I love books about libraries and librarians. So Pack, Pack Horse Librarians, it's you know that and alone. But the story was so well written and you really, the characters just become part of your family and you'll miss them when you're done with the book. So I highly recommend this book. It's available at the library. You can put a hold on it in the catalog. And as soon as it comes out of quarantine, it will be yours to enjoy. So that's this week's story behind the book, Book Talks. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're staying cool out there. It's a warm one. 
and hope to see you soon at the library. Take good care. Bye.